How to Revive a Cell Phone Battery When mobile phone batteries have reached their limit or are left discharged for a long period of time, they eventually lose their ability to hold a charge. If your cell phone battery dies, you don't need to throw it out right away, why not try reviving it first? Maybe all the battery needs is just a little push to make it functional again. Learn how by proceeding to step 1. Method 1 Jump, Starting the Battery 1. First, gather your supplies. You'll need the following. 9. Volt battery, any brand will do. Electric tape, you'll need no more than 5 inches. Electrical wire, basic thin electrical wire will do. Red, plus, and black, comma, are preferred. 2. Connect the electrical wire to the positive and negative terminals of the cell phone battery first, as these are smaller. You can identify the terminals of the battery by simply looking at the side of the battery. It will have a plus and minus sign to mark the terminals. Remember to use two separate wires or split wires for each of the terminals. Do not connect the positive and negative terminals of either battery with itself. Most cell phone batteries have more than two terminals, use the ones that are furthest from each other, or the ones on the outside. The center terminals are not to be used. 3. Cover the connections with electric tape. Take note which wires go to which terminals of the battery, as not to connect a positive side to a negative. 4. Connect the wire coming from the positive terminal of the cell phone battery to the positive terminal of the 9-volt battery. Do the same with the negative wire. Do not connect opposite polarity, positive to negative, because this can short out your cell phone battery. 5. Secure the connection of the wires and the terminals of the batteries with electrical tape. Place them in a cool, dry place, away from any water or heat. 6. Leave the connection for up to a minute or until your cell phone battery gets slightly warm. You should check the battery every 10 seconds or so for heat. 7. Remove the connections once the cell phone battery gets a little warm to touch. 8. Insert the cell phone battery back into your phone and check to see if your phone powers on. 9. Check the battery level once your phone is on. If the level is low, plug the phone into a charger and wait until it is fully charged. Method 2. Freezing the battery 1. Remove the battery from your phone. 2. Place it inside a sealed plastic bag in addition to a sealed plastic container. This will prevent it from getting wet. Do not use paper bags or foils as water can easily penetrate these materials. 3. Place the sealed battery inside the freezer and leave it overnight or at least 12 hours. By exposing the battery to low temperatures such as the inside of a freezer, it allows the battery cells to recharge a little, enough to hold sufficient charge to be connected to a phone charger. 4. Remove the battery from the freezer. Allow it to warm up to room temperature. Do not use the battery while it's still cold. 5. Wipe any moisture off of the battery. 6. Insert it back into your phone but leave the device off. Plug the phone into the proper charger and allow the device to charge for 48 hours. 7. After the device has charged for 48 hours, turn the device on and check the battery's power level. You may find that your once dead battery is revived and is now able to hold a charge again. Warnings Do not leave your phone battery connected to a 9-volt battery. Doing so may cause it to explode.
Your battery may explode as well if you leave it inside the freezer for too long. Remember that extreme hot and cold temperatures are bad for batteries. Tips When you leave your battery inside the freezer, make sure the plastic bag is sealed and placed far from any food to avoid contamination in the event that your battery leaks. Also, properly label the bag so other people won't mistake it for food. Use of an empty plastic container to hold the plastic-wrapped battery will add another measure of safety. If you're having issues with your battery, you should try using a different charger first to isolate the problem. Most battery issues can be traced to using the wrong charger and or charging cable. Do not attempt to recharge your phone battery using a 9-volt battery, because this may cause your cell phone battery to burn out or even explode. This method can only be used to revive a battery.